for you start to finish because I've had some requests. I know that you get your projects in the mail and you think to yourself, wow, she made that look so easy, but what do I do? So what we're gonna do is I am gonna show you how I designed this bake it and they will come transfer. And we're gonna put it on our framed um, pillar here, okay? So when you get your transfer, there will be some instructions on the back. So make sure you do read those so you don't forget any of the steps. So first you're gonna open your transfer. And then you can see this one has a cut line. You can use the whole thing if you want to, but I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut here. And since I'm working this week, I'm gonna use the right side. And it says, I love hugs, I love kisses, but what I really like is help with the dishes. Um, this is a cute one too, the bake it and they will come. Both of them I think are pretty accurate. <laughs> so after you have your transfer, you're going to write, um, I'm just gonna write dishes on the back. This makes for easy cleanup um, and make sure that you have the correct backing on there. I'm gonna peel my transfer off of the backing and stick it onto a fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use um, any towel that has good lint. And then we're gonna peel off, it's brand new, so I'm gonna fuzz it a couple times. What this does is it adds some lint to the back of your transfer. It keeps your transfer from stretching when you're pulling it off of a surface. Um, because remember, this is a silk screen reusable transfer. And it's gonna protect your surface as well. If it's too sticky, you might see on some um, non chalk tour surfaces that the chalk backing might actually pull up with your transfer. So we just want this to be a lot less sticky and it really helps if you're layering different colors. This had a lot of lint on the back. Just gonna make sure none of that lint is in our screen. And now we're gonna place this on our, I'm gonna try putting the right side up, yeah. You wanna be very careful not to stick the sticky to the sticky also. Just gonna place this where I want it. Let's see how this looks. And then you wanna smooth your transfer down. You do not want any air bubbles. I like to say bubble is trouble. Okay, so that's on there nice and good. Next is your chalk paste. I am using bright white and you wanna stir your chalk paste before you use it. Um, you may notice any color settling with some of your darker colors. Um, and then you want to make sure that your consistency is that of sour cream or yogurt, okay? If it's any thicker, you want to use some distilled water and give it a little spritz and then stir again, okay? You don't want to use tap water because there have been some reports of people finding mold <laughs> in their jars. Who knows what is in our water, right? So that's a nice stir. We have a good consistency and you can either... Take your squeegee and dip it right into your jar, or you can use your little stir stick and just apply some of the chalk paste on your transfer. Remember, a little bit does go a long way. And then we're gonna take our squeegee and we're just gonna drag this across. You should be able to see the transfer that you're designing underneath your chalk paste. If you can't, you're doing too thick of a layer. Now, a really thick layer of chalk paste may cause um, your screens to get clogged up. So when you take off your transfer, you're not gonna have a good um, design. And if you're layering, it will cause it to peel up as well. I got one little spot there that I missed. There we go. So as you can see, all of the excess that we're taking off, we're gonna put right back into the jar. Now you do wanna remove your transfer before it dries. Um, or the paste will be stuck in the little silk screen instead of your surface, okay? You want to not pull out a diagonal, but up and down or side to side. And then I'm just going to take this off. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is adorable. And then I have a water bath here and I'm gonna put my transfer right there for a second while I ooh and ah over what I just did. <laughs> So this is the stand for our 
these and there's a hole. You can either do it landscape or portrait. So that's the hole. I'm gonna line the hole on my board up with the back of my pillar stand. Ta-da! And then you come to this little peg that goes right into the hole. How cute is that? <laughs> I'll take a picture of it next to our sink once we're done. But I'm gonna set this aside because now we're gonna do our easy cleanup, okay? I'm gonna move my water over here. You do not want your transfer to be sitting in a water bath for an extended period of time or you will not have much sticky on the back. So I'm gonna take my board eraser. These are magic. Um, it's not a magic eraser because this does not have any chemicals in it, but wait till you see what it does. So I'm just going through. Look at that. It gets all of that chalk paste out of that silk screen this bad boy over and if you notice that the back of your silk screen is not as sticky as it once was um, you can use a disinfectant wipe like a Clorox wipe or um, a Lysol wipe and just go ahead and wipe the back and I'm just gonna dry it <laughs> so your fuzzing cloth has one side that's perfect for fuzzing and then it has a smoother side which I find to be great for drying my transfer or lifting off any smudges off any boards, okay? So now that is perfect. You always wanna dry your transfer sticky side up. You don't wanna make the mistake that I made with my mini camper. Look how sticky this already is. I can't even, see how sticky that is? Um, and I laid the camper sticky side down and walked away. And by the time I realized what I did and I came back, um, my transfer had completely stuck to the counter and I had to throw it away. Parts of it was all stuck on my counter and I had to chip it off. Okay, so then we have our backing that we wrote the back of. I'm just going to put it on. Now the transfer is ready to go again. Wasn't that simple? And I'll take a picture of the finished product at the sink. And if you have any questions, let me know. But that is how easy and simple it is to do your chalk couture project. Happy chalking!